Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Boston University Trustee Scholarship. And these scholarships are for undergraduate students who have just passed their high school or higher secondary or diploma. They can come and apply for this particular scholarship in, in United States and that too in the Boston University. Uh, we will discuss about this scholarship in a while. Before that, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel Full Scholarships. If you are here for the first time, please do subscribe. If you are already subscribed, do share this video and do follow us on Instagram page as well. The link for this Boston University Trustee Scholarship is uh, given in the video description below. You can check out the YouTube description. YouTube video description. Uh, link is given in each of the videos and you can check the respective description of the, any of the scholarship videos that you wish to apply. Link is given there and you can also check out the about section of the YouTube. Links are also pasted here as well as you can check out the Instagram bio and you can also scan the QR code on the Instagram posts here and it will take you the same scholarship. Meanwhile, you can also check out the shorts on the Instagram page here and they will also guide you how do you apply for this and you can also uh, directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmillook.com once you are on this website you can read about this boston university fully funded trustee scholarship for undergraduate international students deadline for this opportunity is first of the december each year and we'll show you the process for this eligibility for this so you can see in the eligibility criteria we have mentioned all the details that are required here so you can see uh, you must have a good uh, academic record then uh, you must be an all-rounder not only good in academics but in the athletes as well so you should have an extracurricular activity accomplishments in your school or your college as well and if you have a sad score they will be also accepted and you just have to provide an essay for the application and then uh, there is no separate scholarship application you just have to apply for the admission to the boston university you'll be considered for this scholarship and there will be a part of the application inside the admission form so you have to tick that that i want to be considered for this scholarship that's how you simply apply for this so boston university is obviously one of the top institutions in united states as well as globally and it has pro like uh, uh, created a lot of noble laureates and the boston university professors are highly ranked as well and their research and then benefits from this scholarship you can see uh, you can get fully full remission full tuition fee remission for undergraduate degrees and you will receive an allowances uh, you'll receive monthly stipends expenses fee assistance and then you'll be part of the boston university obviously and then uh, other scholarship opportunities other funds will be also covered under this program so then documents required simply you have to apply through the common application portal we'll show you that then you have you should have a passport you have to write an essay and then uh, your previous school records your teacher evaluation like you can say recommendation counselor recommendation or school report form that you have previously studied language proficiency and the document of uh, financial support uh, like you should have a minimum financial support so that you can be eligible for this opportunity there is no certain limit on this but you just have to provide that you have us uh, like in emergency cases you should have a backup plan so now how do you apply for this simply scroll down at the end of the page you can see which here to apply link is given here so you can see in the quote so click on this link here upon clicking on that you can see we have been redirected to the official boston university admissions page this is the official website here and you can see trustee scholarship details how to apply you can see submit the common application and all the required material uh, by december 1st you can see and you should complete the trustee application through the common application portal so first and major important thing is you should complete the basic application for the admission and then you can complete the trustee application for this scholarship so that's simple and easy now let's go to the common application portal how will you fill the application so you can see common link is given here so click on this common link or you can go uh, you can see how to apply section here so you can click on this simply you can click on how to apply you can see apply now using common application so click on this link here and it will take you to the common app here so you can see uh, there is a start an application here or you can see sign in or create an account for the first time users you have to click on create an account here and you have to simply sign up with the email and the password so you can see uh, how are you recognizing yourself so i have to start from first year so i click on first year student then enter your email address type retype the email address create a password then uh, enter your basic information like you should enter your name as per the passport and would you like to 
to use a different name people call you short name nickname you can say but i would recommend giving the original name as per the password first name last name date of birth as per the passport contact details and address then agree to the privacy policy and click on create account once you click on create account you will be receiving a link in the email that you have successfully created an account so i already have created account so you can see first year student i will click on that so i do have my uh, login details here and let me simply log in with that so i have entered my email and password now i'll click on sign in and in a matter of few seconds it will take us to the dashboard and where we can fill the application so you can see welcome to the dashboard and congratulations on taking your first step to the college progress let me zoom in the screen for you so you can see our id is now created and you can see now there is here you can see my my colleges click on that and now there you can see no app no college is showing because we are applying for boston university so obviously we have to click on college search here now uh, search on the college or the university that you can see as you can also choose from the list here so you can see a lot of universities are there so suppose i wish to go for the boston university i'll search that and then i'll apply for that so let me search for the boston and here you can see list goes long and if you are not able to find it here you can simply search so let me search here you can see boston university you can click on add here so it's now added so i can go to my colleges you can see boston university and you can see applications all the details about that uh, university is now here and you can see review and submit your common app so you can click on that application submissions so now click on profile section of the common app and here you have to fill the all details like personal information first name last name your middle name date of birth your address and your contact details if you have common app fee waiver you can submit that letter as well and all the information you have to submit here then your family information uh, are you married or not so you can see and then all details your parent details your sibling details your mother's father detail every detail you have to mention here and fill that after that you can click on education here and your current or most recent education details so you have to submit that your school name you can find that here you can remove that as well you can change it whatever it was your school boarding school or not when did you graduate and here you can see provide details about uh you can see project is about a change in the progression through high, secondary or high school indicated above so you have to mention that then other higher secondary details or secondary school details you have then grades and colleges you have attended honors you have and future plans you have so this is all you have to fill in here so you can see after that you can see testing and do you have taken any english test like sat toefl ielts you have to mention that if you have you can submit yes and no are an international applicant so select yes and no accordingly and click on continue after that there will be an activities part so you have to mention which activities you are uh, like aligned with arts music sports anything you have and then writing services then you have to enter the personal essay here you can see and you can see all the personal essay you have to mention here you have to write a personal essay and click on continue after that an additional information tab will be there they will be asking questions about the covid vaccines you have completed that you have then click on continue and then the course grades you can see uh, currently my college do not require me to complete any course grades so i'll click on my college so you can see a tab is now there so i'll click on the common app and that's how you fill the application for this so you can see application in progress and now you have to click on add your term or admission plan so click on this first we had the basic information and now there will be questions so when do you wish to prefer start your term so i'll select the january and the preferred admission so regular decision boston university so you have sat and not so if you have not yet so you can click on do not consider my sat and on campus i do wish to complete and uh, do you qualify for the application fee waiver so you can see because yes i do not have much financial uh, that uh, from the home so i'll just ask for the application fee so do you intend to apply for a need based financial aid so you can yes and then uh, i understand i am not a us citizen here and then 
ever been responsible for a disciplinary action? So no, I have not been convicted. No, I have not been. Uh, do you plan to apply for ROC, uh, reserved officer training? So no, I have not. Then click on continue. After that, your academics will be there. So you have to complete these sections, contact, family, other information. So basic questions will be there. Uh, Boston University School, so which do you wish to complete? So you can see engineering, education, arts, data science. Suppose I will go with this uh, data science computing, then major I will choose the data science second. I will go with the uh, pre-dental and then you can click on continue. If you wish to be in your advisory, you can skip this as well. Then uh, have you previously applied to Boston University? No, I have not applied. Click on continue. Then family information has any family member or any of the siblings studied at Boston University. So you can mention yes and no accordingly. So no, none of them. And have any relatives? No, none of them. Anyone worked there? So no. So you should have no links to the university because this impacts the application. Are you a US citizen? So no, I am not. Click on continue. Choose the birth of the uh here you can see do you wish submit the financial document below right now so i won't because i'll click on continue and then uh, residency choose a residency do you wish to if you are not us citizen do you currently hold as us citizenship green card so no i do not hold and then you can mention the address where you have your country listed here so you can find your country and then click on continue then there will be essay questions you have to fill that here you can see essay questions so you can choose topic one or topic two and you can mention your essay here i'll just paste an essay here so you have to add a maximum of 350 words here so i'll just remove the extra words here this is a just a demo application you don't have to copy paste this you have to just follow the steps for showed in this Okay, now let's click on continue. And you can see, please complete authorization. Let me complete. And I understand the terms and conditions. Click on continue, click on save and close. Okay, click on acknowledgement. So you can see. And enter your names. Choose the date. And then click on save and close. So you can see authorization is done. Now you can add recommenders here. So you can invite a counselor or you can invite an advisor here. So you can see. And click on invite. So they will be submitting the recommendation. Then you can invite teachers. This is an optional. I'll just skip this. And now I'll click on continue. You can see uh, deadlines. So Okay, for this program, the deadline has passed, but for other programs, it's open. And you can see you have to invite others. This is an optional. And let me close this one and add another recommendation. So you can see counselor. Click on invite. So as many as the recommendations you add, that will add the benefit to, uh, to your application. So for this program, data science, the application is not available. For other programs, it's available right now. So you can check out the university. Uh, number first, 2023 deadline has passed previously. So but this year's deadline, it is coming. So you should keep your application ready. You can complete your data, all sections of the application ready. You can write them, keep them ready and it will open in few days for the data science and other field is already open and once it's open it will be uh, available showing you that the deadline is open you can submit that application just you can fill the application till that and it will save a lot of time so you can check out other requirements if there are any uh, missing parts in your application you can check out there and you don't have to worry at all so just check out other colleges that are also accepting applications you can add a college here you can see different uh, colleges here suppose uh, you want to go for this let me choose any other university as well so that you can apply for them without scholarship being considered for scholarship and you can apply for as many as colleges you wish uh, let me just choose any of the colleges here so you can see a lot of colleges let me choose this uh, barton college so you can see it's added now let me go to my colleges you can see barton 
uh, booster as well as Barton College here and you can apply for them as well their questions everything will be there and you can add as many as universities or colleges you wish to apply so all you need to do is just visit our website for scholarships.net and cashmanlook.com apply for these scholarships and you don't have to worry at all keep watching keep subscribing you can see we have completed all the sections here and you can check out how you fill the application and once you complete this once you receive an offer or once you pass this step one you'll be considered for the uh, trustee scholarship then you'll they will send you a link they will open an option here in your colleges you can see financial aid here so you can see scholarships uh, different types of scholarships will be there so you can see uh, so once you complete the part of the first part of the application process admission process you get accepted here a trustee scholarship will be added here so you can see add a scholarship so you can add to this scholarship to your application here and that's how you fill the application that's how you apply for this simple and basic applications are there so you can see we have added one of the scholarships that we were eligible for so we have added it so other scholarships will be adding it soon here once the deadlines for the particular subject are open so i chose data science uh because uh, i didn't see that their the data science application is not open yet now so it will open in few days don't worry about that and if you watch this video right now you it shows that the deadline is not open don't worry just fill all the details keep it ready and once they open just submit the application so first come first serve also values your application because it shows that you are willing to apply for this particular opportunity you are willing to study in the boston university don't worry at all just message on instagram if you have doubts no need to worry just comment down below the video if you have any uh, if you seek any guidances all the links are in the respective descriptions check out our website fullscholarships.net cashnook.com do subscribe and share this video keep watching have a nice day